Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Vampire. We are on the trail of trying to connect the Spanish flu and the vampire epidemic together. And, well, I mean, like, you know, we already know it's linked. Like, we've seen that shit. Every sick person that we see on the street usually is, like, trying to eat you or eat rats, you know? Uh,. But we're going to go talk to Swansea and see what's up because he's more in the know about what's going on in London than we are. So let's get in. Oh yeah, gotta come around this fuck ass corner for some reason. Because Dr. Swansea's office is huge. Oi, hello mate. How you doing? Let me, let me check your room out first to see if I... Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? Dude, I'm so curious, like, whenever they were like, I have, I need to ask you a couple questions, you know, and he was like, alright, you like, you can, but I have something to tell you. I would have been, I would have been like, you know, go first, tell me what's up, what? I'll ask my questions later, hold on. <laughs> okay, I analyzed the blood. the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Yes, I have. Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. I did not like the you way you like said rabies? docile. Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here. But it is spreading, and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate oh, the properties that God. course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. I'm good. I don't want that. <laughs> I may turn and London into my realm. What did Stoker say about the children of the night? Well, using my blood, I could create a whole army of vampires. Surely you're joking. No. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. <laughs> no, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said... Dude, that was I funny as fuck. He's like, no, no, thank you. I, I'll see you later. I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? Yeah, what happened? She's to be buried oh, okay. this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. Damn. Um. Shit. We gotta. We gotta go attend our sister's funeral. Is is that bad? I feel like that's bad since we killed her, right? Like, it's fucked up for the killer to show up to the funeral. Where are we going? Going back into White Chapel. Okay. We're going to that cemetery that we were at, probably. Funeral. Mary. I can't forgive myself. Can you open the fucking trash can? Thank you. Truth about what happened to us. It was like, hey. I swear. <laughs> oh, what the? Why she got her hands up like that, dog? Hey, miss. Oh. 
Okay, we gotta get out of here. I... Surprise, bitch! Oh, that hits so much harder than the club. Hell yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey. That was a little unnecessary right there, bitch. I didn't really s see a different. It just looked like I don't know. It kind of looked bigger. Oh god. <laughs> I fucking miss with that shit. Oh yeah. It might be because they're higher level than what I'm used to, but it, it didn't look like it did much more damage. Okay, cool. Yeah, well the fucking... The more critical the places get, then the scarier it is to go there. Like, for real, for real. Cause everybody trying to kill you. Go that way. Can you go that way? Is that possible? Surprise, bitch! That's what I'm telling. Oh. oh shit! Oh, that, that did a lot of damage, actually. <laughs> oh, I'm having too much fun right now. Get out of town! All right, cool. Nice to nice to meet y'all, gents. Uh, do I want to go attack the big guy and get experience? Yes, I do. Come on. Hey, bud, how you doing? I got I got one too. Look at it, bitch. Oh. <laughs> that was uncalled for. That was that was the most ridiculous hitbox I've seen all day. All right, let's do it. My dear sister, I don't know if I have the strength. Creepy uh, cemetery. Discreetly attend Mary's funeral. Oh, we got we got some company up here. Where you at? He's over there. I don't wanna... Hey guys. Oh. oh, that one's immune to shot. Gunfire. Oh, did he see me? Did he see me? No. Okay, cool. I have to go that way. No. Alright. Oh, oh. He's gonna jump. No, no. That other guy's gonna jump. <laughs> I don't like you. I 
I keep seeing guys that look exactly like this, just dead everywhere. Maybe it means something, or maybe I'm just tripping. Are we going this way? Yep. Oi, what are you still doing in the cemetery, mate? Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I, like I can find Jean. some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. Tell me how your husband died, Xiao Shun. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days, but for me, it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming, to have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come? Or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. Are you on your own? This is. Do you have any friends? This is family? pretty sad, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day, maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence. Respect, okay. For sure. I need sadness. Let's get out of here. Um, yeah, we I've all seen grieve in our own in way. Life. And we all grieve in our own way. Some stay silent. Or need to shout. Others need company. And some just can't stand it. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. Um, you know, it's not because I might want to eat you later. You realize you can't stay here. Eventually we can send her home, so I'll probably Why? do that. Why Especially since there's like vampires since and shit everywhere. Place I can find peace of mind. To be honest, I don't know. Please forgive me if I've upset you. We must all honor our departed loved ones in our own way. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Right, I can't tell you there's vampires, but like... You need to, you need to ski fucking daddle, bro. Accept my condolences for your loss, then, Doctor Reed. Okay, Are you another. a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death, and who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician, one of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? You're supposed to relate, bro. But I wanted you to know that you have done nothing wrong. Unlike me. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure. No right. matter how long it takes. Right. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. 
Go home. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need silence too. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Xiaoshu. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. I see you later on. Goodbye for now. Investigation succeeded. The world has gone. I don't even remember that investigation, so that's good. You know. Oh shit, sorry. I'm running into walls. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now. I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. Okay, but ah uh, man, I wanna, I wanna get my blood back up, cause I just like having full bars. That's okay. What's it? Who daddy is? I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead. Yet shall he live, and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Damn. Poor mom, bro. <laughs> Why kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god awful place? <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. <laughs> Fucking killed her. You know what you did. Calm down. If I could only change one thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. Jonathan. Oh, there you. is nothing you can do but accept it. See, she gonna tell you the same shit I just told you. It's just nicer. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. I wish the tears would come, but I'm empty, and I feel a hypocrite. Let your pain run free, Jonathan. You kind of word, Don't man. Don't smother it. What you feel is your humanity. Don't be so quick. To lose it. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Oh, her cool. Okay. That is what he hears. And, and it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. I'm learning. Every night is a new lesson. What I am, what I must do to survive. But my sister, she shouldn't have suffered because of my weakness. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here, to warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray.
pray for Mary's forgiveness if you must. You may be right. You may be right, Of bro. course. I've stared upon this world for centuries, and time has taught me to deal with guilt, if not erase it. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. Yeah, man. We haven't, we haven't really told anybody. It's just so sad. That doesn't sound fucking good. Um. Yeah, just go over here. Ah, shit. Hey, guys. Ah, god. I have no stamina, I'm sorry. Ah, that's bullshit. My B button stuck. Alright, give me, give me all your monies, your aluminum powders, and the grease. Now all we gotta do is follow this road down. And off to church he goes. Oh. A newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Yeah, shit. Shed your skin. Forget your old weaker self. What do you want from me? That's a different kind of info. Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. Yeah, what, what is going on? Oh, he's going to attack him. He's going to get him. Crazy. Let's just let him fight it out. Um, how's everybody doing? By the way, let's go. Let's go check them out. Cause I'm real worried. All my favorite characters are dead. Ah, cool. Darby's okay. He's cool. So is Christina. Christina's cool. Oh, but this sleazy motherfucker. God damn it. Okay. We gotta eat him. That's all it is. We just gotta eat him, man. You banging like you the police. Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know... May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any news to you, my son. Okay, okay. It's a personal man. You seem to me a good soul, vicar. 
but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chaplain. For I can be as silent as stone. Yeah, just go I'm for it. for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage. Yet I see the pain. It's, not, the it's not the rage. I am here. It's the mother. It's the blood. All God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the law. Very well, priest. As you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? Just know I cared for Just her. Just know I cared for her. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? Yeah, don't don't give anything away, bro. I mean, she was murdered. She was murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? I feel responsible. The pain is consuming me. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What would you like her to know? Ah, uh, yeah, just please forgive I me. I killed you. There's no excuse. My dear Mary. Why would you say her name, dog? You have been heard, my son. God. And will lighten if He's gonna tell the cops or something, bro. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Shitty. Whatever that was happened shitty. on this dock is between my sister and I. It does not concern me. Meet Edgar Swansea at the hospital. Thank God at all. Is that the way to go? And I could just take a right down here. Excuse me, bitches. Ah! Yeah, this doesn't stun anymore. That's my only thing. So I gotta rely on these fucking blood tingies. Ow! Ah, God! It gives me health and everything. Oh, okay, I switch this. And then we'll probably upgrade something else. I mean, you know, bullets are great and all, but if my main weapon doesn't have stun on it, it's not much I can do. Oh! It's a good thing I gotta go up these steps, fuck you mean. Cool. Oh shit, I was walking too fast or something. What is that? Oh my god. No, I'm gonna die. It's done for him. No. Oh shit, oh shit. Snap it, You are a problem for me, sir. God damn it. 
What is that? What was that? Had to take it easy. Is this just a random dead guy? Man, all the background noises really gets oh shit. right there okay never mind sorry what's up mr antler guy fear be gone i would harm no child of my making this is your doing you made me made me this creature what are you Tell me what you are. Yeah, what are you? I am the whitened bones and blackened soil. The land made blood coursing through thy veins. What is it you seek? This age is cyclic. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. Right, man. I'll get you, dog. Yeah, let's do the, let's do the truncheon. Enhance, stam decrease stamina consumption, or add three points on stun hit. Let's do that. That's some high stamina consumption, you know what I mean? That's 30. That's 36. Oi. But it's okay, we got this. We're just gonna try everything out and see what works for us. Cause that's the best. So thing. the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity. Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? I want to figure out a way Maybe to... Maybe Edgar can... The flower's dying. It needs water. I want to water this little plant, but I don't know how. Protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You'll set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. I'm like how he called us a fucking leech. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the guard. Leave him, Jonathan. Okay, alright. I won't fuck you ground. up, bro. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. By the sacred stone, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. 
is going on, cuz. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. Because I got to maintain my cover. Only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned the dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. Oh, shit. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Oh. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Yeah, I'll help Very you. well. I'll help you. Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Calm down. Someone I said I'd help advantage you. of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, Jonathan I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge, but I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please, then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So she Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Uh, I don't know. They, they will not attack. I'll uh, yeah, I'll protect Rest you. Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Damn, now we gotta go hunt down the homie we saved. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Right. So let's head to the docks. Fucking the blood trail. Ah, man, I can't. If we ever get to 20, bro, it's a wrap for you. Let's go check out that room first, man. What on earth happened here? Crazy in here, it cray cray. Royal Garden Hall Theater. Doris Fletcher. Sapphire. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. It, it was buffering so long because it took so long for her old ass to get up, but it's okay. Okay. Goodbye, Nurse. I Call thought there would be you. something about the attack, but it doesn't look like it. It's not an option. What do you think of this, Lady Ashbury? Oh, Jonathan. I cannot believe my eyes, poor woman, butchered by some savage scowl. Can we share this meal? Ew. Yes, and I'm afraid I'm at least partially responsible. The man, the scowl, I brought him here. Jonathan, how could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent, but there seems to be no end to the suffering and death surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. Have you killed this woman? What the fuck? What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel, stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? He 
was huge. bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather outdoing his master's bidding. What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away. Okay, shit, sure. don't gotta tell me twice. I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Is this a sign? The hand of God in action. Yeah, he's like, a nah. Repellent unto heaven. I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. Thank you, my lady. I hope to see you again soon. Are we gonna go this way? Yeah, to the docks. Okay, cool. So, if I keep following that main road, Eventually leave me there and then leave me there. All right, good. Um, yeah, no. Okay, no. okay sorry. Sure. God, man, he's all alone right there next to the fucking the the the, the, the side of the canal. I could just eat him or push him in real quick. It seems the Prewin are redoubling their patrols. And yeah, this is good. I must be more careful. When is it ever a safe place? Oh shit, oh god, that, that hit me hard. I didn't bite him yet, but it'll be uh, great. forever mate I cannot enter How did it get behind me? Hey, 
human, I can tell you that much, mate. Okay. Is there a way around him? Go back home, idiot. Okay, shit, Connor. Over there. Surprise, I ain't going home, bitch. Good evening, sir. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? Ah, oh, some fancy gentleman we've got here. Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name, then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you remember it. Okay, all right, sure. Do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad saint. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cunt. Y you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean Hampton well. Okay, okay. I'm gonna talk to Tom Watts. Are you some kind of vigilante patrolling these streets at night? Something like that, but the police aren't in charge here. We are, see? So, tell me about your gang, then. What? Have you got a death wish? You really want me to answer that? Oh, uh, well, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't have you asked. You seem so proud of your status. Why not tell me who you're working for? Oi! I'm the boss, all right? The wet boot boys work for me. Oh, shit. Sure. All of them. Situation round here is better than other districts because of us. Because of me. You know, that kid was trying to join your motherfucking gang. Ah, get out of here. Goodbye. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. <laughs> I just From told the Pembroke you. Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I don't have any money for you leeches. I'm not here for charity, miss. Miss Edwina Cox. Oh. So what do you want, then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? Looking for Sean Hampton. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint? I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. God. Goodbye, Miss Cox. Horrible people. Mark my words. Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. Damn. I'm a tracker of these creatures. He, oh, he's telling her right now. What the fuck? You best be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back and hunting all these poor folk, he needs a catching. He a needs a catching. What's it look like? It's an old story. 
a monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. He comes of a sudden, nighttime, claiming innocence, then vanishes. Teeth, claws, murders by night. Your sewer dog is my business. He's the kind of prey I hunt, milady. Crazy. I gotta talk Good evening, to him. sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and oh. warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? Really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. I'm just looking, I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour, but I cannot tell you how to find him, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there, they have plenty of reasons to hide. Okay. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of character. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's the he guy that we to talked you, to at the it's beginning. Fine by me. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested. By a priest of all people. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. That's that's fucking rough. Okay. Goodbye, and good hunting, Mr. Throgmorton. And good hunting, Mr. Throgmorton. All right. Oh Jesus Christ! I did not notice that we were going for this long. Um. Well, thanks for hanging out with me for this uh super long <laughs> video. I shall see y'all in the next one. Peace out and have a great day, okay? In the next one, we're going to hit up uh, the church and see where Hamilton's at, all right? We're going to have some fun with that. All right, bye.